Also now at 11, emotions running high in a Miami courtroom after a jury reaches a verdict in the trial of a former Hialeah officer accused of kidnapping and beating a homeless man. Nico, Nico Clements live in Miami with more on what the jury decided tonight, Nico. Well, the jury took almost seven hours to reach this verdict. Of course, they had some questions along the way. But in, in the end, the jury found Otano guilty of the more serious charge. Rafael Otano, guilty of kidnapping during the commission of the offense. ex Hialeah police officer Rafael Otano lowers then shakes his head as he learns the jury found him guilty of kidnapping a homeless man last year. As to count two battery, the defendant is not guilty. And not guilty of beating and assaulting the man. Minutes after the verdict, Otano's family broke down in tears. We think it's an outrage. Otano's attorney says the verdict doesn't make sense. If, as the jury found, Mr. Otano is not guilty of battery, not guilty of touching this person, he cannot be guilty of kidnapping. The family did not want to speak afterwards. Prosecutors say Otano and another then Hialeah officer, Lorenzo Orfila, arrested Jose Ortega Gutierrez, drove him to an isolated area outside Hialeah, and beat him up. There's zero evidence of an arrest. I'm not telling you that they didn't have a right to arrest him that day. What I'm telling you is at the point in time that they realized who it was they were dealing with, they needed to invoke their own justice. State attorneys wanted to prove Otano broke his oath to protect and uphold the law. God forbid it ever came to this moment, who would people believe? The homeless convicted felon or two sworn officers of the law? Otano's attorney says they're not done fighting. We're headed to the appellate courts and, and this is round one in our fight for justice. Otano was out on bond and police rearrested him tonight. His attorney, you just heard him, they plan to file a notice of appeal. And as for the uh, co-defendant and other former Hialeah police officer, he is still out on bond and has a hearing next month. Live in Miami, Nico Clemens, NBC6 News.